Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Wall. So this is Navin Tamishati. Today in this video, I will show you how to um, display array of objects in a React JS in a simple way. So this is how I have done. So before jumping into the video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and hit bell icon for uh, more videos. And please comment uh, if you need any uh, further topics on any videos on any topic, please do ping in the comments and uh, yeah and again you can reach me out in the instagram and i will um, or uh, you can drop a mail i will simply uh, mention the links below in the description section and yeah let us jump into the video so yeah uh, here i have used a to um, array of objects to display uh, data from so here what i have done is to display the table i have used bootstrap bootstrap table uh, bootstrap table here uh, so this is how i have done and uh, i have uh, taken a simple array of object so let us jump into the coding part so after creating the list component uh, i just imported that component in app.js so this is how i have imported it and i mean this is how i am using i just imported in the app.js so that it will be visible for uh, visible in uh, app.js page so this is a bootstrap bootstrap component i mean bootstrap uh, div structure a uh, nav bar um, which i am directly using here and this is the uh, nav nav which i am using to display the coding wall um, nav bar nav bar header okay so yeah here uh, what i have done is i have created a uh, list component so what i have done is i have created a list component uh, first i will uh, write in code uh, react from react okay uh, now uh, i'll take function i have a function which is list which is list um, so i already have an object first of all what we have written and we need to export this export default list okay so here what i will do is um i'll write a div so i have already idea on yeah and uh i, I already built a i mean uh set up a array of object so i'll simply paste it here this is the array of object which i have already made which has name uh, ratings mrp price um, i think uh, mrp is not needed but uh, anyway so uh, these are the three three key values which i have and these are the four objects which i already have and what i will do is here um, i will take in a uh, table table from bootstrap so yeah if i go here um, yeah this table looks little good i'll copy this table okay uh, so here what i will do is um so the table right t head next tr Here. okay this is not needed and here what th simply copy paste four ths okay here uh, first is serial number next is name name of the mobile right second is price and again we will display the ratings okay rating of the mobiles okay so uh, what are the next step uh, so first of all we see if that is uh, displaying or not later we will check with the remaining things first i will do control save go here okay it is displaying the data and i mean table table heading so here what we will do is we will take a object here which has 
so i'm using data right so data dot math inside this i need two uh, two parameters one is row which i want to iterate and the second is i which i initially uh, mentioning it as an uh, index index which is very much needed so inside the tr table row i will give a td table division so here we need to give a single single uh, curly bracket which iterates the values which are present here okay so how we can uh, consume those things by using row dot uh, row dot name the same way i will do i will copy paste those things and simply change the names okay first is name second is price third is rating it's i think ratings ratings okay this is not needed and again i will control exit so for serial number what we need to do we need to there is a mathematical thing like we need to use i plus one because each and every time it only takes the index value so we usually see like uh, index position will start always starts with zero so that's why i given this will be zero in the first position and plus one will be one so it, it works like this way one second it's okay yeah yeah i made a mistake okay now the table is displayed right so what i will do is i will just align this thing by using style equal to so in in react we need to give like this if you are uh, assigning any css property we need to give it two uh, two expressions those are like two uh, curly brackets with width with these two uh, i will give you around 60 percent comma margin and again we are usually use margin hyphen right so what we need to do is we need to give capital casing i mean capital letters and i will give 10 percent oh sorry uh, actually we need to uh, declare it i mean um, give it in a string format so 10 percent again i will change this also to string okay so this is how it looks and again uh, there is a uh, again i need to display it in center so I'm simply doing this uh, in uh, inline styles, but please don't uh, don't use inline styles uh, anywhere in your application because it is not in a um, uh, what do you call it? we we should not uh, use those things because uh, if I, if we if we write any inline styles, and again if we are writing any any styles in the uh, styles styles component uh, or modules, it doesn't reflect uh, if we are using any. Um, uh, if you want to display some view in mobile screen also th those kind of things doesn't uh, doesn't reflect so mostly avoid avoid writing inline css for, uh, for now i don't need anything like that so i'm continuing in uh, inline css only yeah this is how it displays displays the data uh, in my previous and uh, i mean in the starting i have shown you like border thing right you can directly write like this table slash border border and one more thing if you are using any class in react you need to use class name okay now it is reflected right so this is how we can do and there is a continuation video for this like uh, uh, display i mean uh, add and delete thing uh, which i will show you in the next video which will have a two action buttons um, i mean uh, uh, there will be action button to delete delete a, re a record and there will be a input fields which have four fields i mean three fields which has consist of name price and rating and i will uh, add a uh, add button to it whenever i click the add button it will eventually add into this um, array of object and display it in the table so yeah thanks for the um, thanks for watching my videos and please do subscribe and